if you want like a realistic hot girl summer we outside foundation routine this is it okay because this is as real as gonna get people are telling you you sweat proof and this proof and that proof if you sweat you're gonna sweat the makeup's not gonna make you not sweat but i'm telling you if you put it on in this order and you do it like that it'll reduce you know the you're what you're not gonna do is you're not gonna have your makeup separating and and, and going all over the place because i've done my makeup gone outside and like it starts cracking i'm like baby i gotta be, i gotta go inside this you outside all day like you good what's up guys and welcome to my new channel it's your girl brandeezy um if you don't know me what's up my name is brandy i usually go by brandeezy if you know me from tomboy chic tv what it do baby um i'm back and i decided to make a new channel i'm gonna leave tomboy chic tv up but i'm not gonna upload it on upload on it anymore i just feel like that channel i want to start fresh i want to start it and have a channel where I spoke positivity over into and have intentions of going somewhere with that channel I kind of just made it and did whatever like I wasn't consistent I was just all over the place so if y'all with me from Tom Boyce TV thank you for the new people what's up for my first video I'm gonna be doing my updated well I guess to y'all it's just gonna be a foundation routine but my 2021 summer foundation routine edition and it lasts all day long as i've worn makeup was like 11 hours and all i had to do was take a little toilet paper you know you go in the bathroom you do a little do a little and you good a lot of people on youtube are telling you like oh sweat proof this that y'all not i'm not calling y'all liars i'm just saying i'm being a truther and letting you know that you might get a little greasy but it's not bad greasy like even when i am greasy you just look a little dewy so you went from matte to dewy like you know it's a transitional makeup but anyway, if you want to see that, then go ahead and keep on watching. Y'all see my eyebrow? I made a little heart today. I, I like to think of my eyebrows as art. Like, I kind of keep my face regular schmegular, but my eyebrows be having designs and razzle dazzles. I already primed my face, but I'm going to show you guys what I used. I used the Makeup Forever Disc Primer um, for like... Thank you. For the areas that get greasy, so like my nose and right here. And then for um, right here and like my forehead, I use this one. I'm gonna be a YouTuber and put all this stuff down below. But yeah, and then for like the outside of my face, I use the Fenty, the hydrating one. Down. First thing I like to do is set my primer. And to set it, I really use any kind of powder. This one's close, so we're gonna use this one. Set the primer. So I set under my eyes and my nose because I get pretty oily. All right, so to conceal, I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, like a little bit. Mixed with my Juvia's Place um, concealer. This is in the shade 12. And I'm gonna mix it up. And just pop conceal. And so now that I've like spot concealed, I'm just gonna set it with whatever's left on my brush that I use to set my face. And I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna take some of the powder from here and bring it down to set it. Take some powder, set it. Cause we don't want it to move. Boom. Now, for the foundation. Here is the part that like makes this whole thing come together, I promise you. What you're gonna need is to go get you some Pat McGrath Really, I would like to use this by itself, but I don't know if you can tell I'm a little bit darker than this. So I mix this with the Maybelline Superstay. But here's the thing. You got to put some milk primer in it. I figured this out when I went to Puerto Rico. And ever since I did that in Puerto Rico, I have not been doing my foundation any, any different because something about this makes your face so skin-like when you put the foundation i don't really like it as um primer like on my face i don't know why i don't really care for how it feels but mixed in it's amazing 
I mix some of this. The Pat McGrath foundation is really good, but it's uh, like almost $70, so I'm not gonna buy a darker shade. We're just gonna wait until we get lighter. All right, boom, so now you mix those together. You apply it. Um, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush, the best foundation brush. And you just push it in. I always blend the outer part of my face first because we're putting concealer and stuff there. You don't want this part to dry and it's not like blending. Like you got like a line, nobody likes that. So this is what it looks like blended out. You guys can see up close. We look good already. All right, so now for concealer. I like to use the Juvia's Place um, concealers. I use 13 and 16. I mix them together. This concealer, I like to let it sit. So what I do is I like put it on, blend it together, kind of put it how where I want it to kind of go, and then leave it. To let it dry down a little bit okay so that's where I put the concealer the trick to this to get it to look super 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 smooth and flawless let it dry that's gonna take like three minutes so while we wait we're gonna contour let's use this one the Juvia's place um, I think this is a foundation stick in the color Katsina a little bit that was a lot and this is the first round I kind of go back and like add and fix it as I go but I need something to do while my face is my concealer is drying so it's been a little bit so now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out I know it looks crazy now, but this is where trusting the process really comes in. The part where my nose is like like unblended, I leave that alone. I'll fix that in a second. But over here, we use the part that doesn't have anything. And like try to buff it down. And then go in with the foundation brush and blend out the edges. We're gonna go ahead and use the same thing that I contoured my cheeks with to do my nose contour. Oh, I did not mean to go in there so rough. All right, so now that we have it all blended out, I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm gonna use the NYX powder mixed with a little bit of the Fenty with a little bit of this. Yes, I use a lot of, I do a lot of mixing. I feel like I wanna curate my own stuff. So we're gonna mix NYX, Fenty, Maybelline. And then to set the contoured or bronzed areas, I use the Warriors, the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. 
and I use this color. And to set the rest of like my face, which is really just right here and like here, I use the Maybelline um, 24 hour fresh wear powder. And I'm in the color 365. And just go like, just kind of dab it. So that's the face. But I'm gonna go ahead and like do a little some some to my eyes. When you blend off, when you blend out the powder, push it in. Don't dust it off. The setting sprays that I use are the Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist and also the Urban Decay Pollution Protection one. So I have to go with this first. Okay, a little bit more Morphe. Trust me, you need this. Put it, put it on cold though. So now we're, we're coming together, we're almost done. For lashes, I'm gonna use, these are my lashes. I'm gonna use the style Hush, Hustle. So that's what they look like in the packaging. Boom. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I haven't decided like if I'm gonna put lip gloss on or not, but either way, this is my everyday, well, face like not necessarily the eyes and the lashes i switch out the lashes again i do have my own brand lashes i have seven styles i'll go ahead and link my website down below if you guys want to check them out the lashes i have on right now they're called hustle and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and subscribe follow me on instagram and i'm gonna we gonna be on here okay